glass of wine, am I right? <laughs> hey, listen, by audible woo, how many of you have been to a live taping of a Hollywood news entertainment program before? to give them lots of love, yeah. okay? A lot of love. Hey, yeah. listen, why don't we go ahead and practice that right let's now? Let's do that. Let's yeah, do it right let's now. Do it. Three, two, one. Big applause! Big applause. Yeah, well, you look great, you know. Well, if I can do it, you can do it 
two, three. I gotta get you on board. Well, I've been on board. I've been doing the diet the same amount of time as you have. Just <laughs> Zero result. You know, my doctor says that my body doesn't even like listening to me, so. <laughs> this is so much to get into in today's so show. So much today. Everything from the Oscars to celebrity gossip shockers. So a little rhyme. I liked it. That's right. I got a rhyming dictionary. Are there any weekend. real celebrity <laughs> gossip shockers? Uh, maybe, but definitely lots of rhyming. Well, I cannot <laughs> wait to crack that nut and get to all the juice, but before we get going, I just want to take a moment and apologize for an incident on last week's uh, show. Uh, Skip, you were in trouble again, and yet again, you were trending. I was trending, kind of cool, right? I made some <laughs> insensitive and inappropriate accents while referencing the hit film Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> well, it's very brave of you to apologize so often, uh, every show. But you know, <laughs> Mary, I'm just a man of strong yet flawed, and after a week of community outreach and some personal reflection, I can honestly say that I've changed, I've grown, and I apologize. It won't happen again. Well, it, uh, well remember when you were doing the laundromat guy? I swear to God, he said I looked young in the photo. It was so funny. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on with the show, and let's go ahead and introduce Shay Ramsey with our Celebrity Gossip Corner. Like pretend not to have known? 
Yeah, well, yeah. Alan lives the best at pretending, so. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Speaking of Lee, Spike Lee. Oh, I like Spike Lee. Yep. Finally winning an Oscar Final. for Best Adapted Screenplay for Black Eyed the Clans. I knew he. <laughs>
directed, written, and starred film, and um, and it is right up there with James L. Brooks' Broadcast News and Devil Wears Prada. It's it's I a terrific it. workplace film. That's so funny. I love it. I kind of, you played the lovable goofball Sean. My man Marco Robbie. Good gravy. Good looking gal. What was that like? What was your experience with Margo? My experience with Margo, she's a consummate professional who I would, I would jump at the chance to work with again. Paul, I follow you on social media, my man. man. A lot of talk about you doing a big push to play the Penguin in a new Batman movie. I, I, I've seen the stuff you posted, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Now, I'd like to uh, get you the part. Why don't I play the Batman? And you can do the role of Penguin. We'll just do a little impromptu fun here. So, so you show me what you got for the version, your version of the Penguin. <clears throat> um, penguin, you do good. Your hands in the air. I'm the Batman, and you're going down to Gotham Town, I mean, man. You go. <laughs> this is a, this is like a Batman was written by like a fifth grader. We're improvising. There's so no, I'll, I'll go a little darker in tone. We'll do a little bit of Chris Nolan. That's that okay. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Here we go. So you'll play, you'll play the penguin and I'll be the Batman. <clears throat> Jump around with her. Oh, you're the penguin. Okay, look at you. Here he is. Now, see, you've got this intensity already, I love. But I'm going to have to ask you, penguin, to step out of that vehicle. If you come in with the Batman, I'm taking you downtown with me, man. That's that sound. I love that I'm your main man. Hey. I love that I'm your, your villain of the day. But the reality is, Batman, I don't want to be a villain. I want to be a hero. Maybe do it a little, a little bit darker. Just really commit to it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. I, the stuff you had on social media was much better than that. I think. Yeah, this was overwhelming. Okay, you know what? Why don't I just wrap this up? Thank you for tuning in, America. This is your show. Hey, America. Hey, I am your host, Paul Walter Hauser. And Skip, thank you for your time. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> Mary, I gotta say, the guy was so cool, so much fun to hang out with. They had a great time. It sure looked like it, Skip. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, America, hey, March 1st is right around the corner, and you know what that means. That's right, March 1st is Employee Appreciation Day, and we just want to take a moment to say thank you to all the hardworking men and women who make this show a reality. Absolutely. I see our, we have an intern, Clayton, standing over there. Clayton, get on out here, Actually, you know what? Why don't all you guys come on up here? Let's give them a round of You're on Hey America Hey! And Clayton is from a beautiful part of the country. It's, uh, it's like, right, yeah, right, yeah, 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 right in the middle of the Northeast. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, Clay, we just want to say thank you so much for whatever it is you do here on Hey America Hey! On behalf of all of us, we want to get you a little gift card, my main man. How's that sound? Colombo? Is that the Italian? What is, what is that? Friend and sponsor of the show, Columbo's, located in convenient Eagle Rock. It's a family friendly <laughs> Italian restaurant. <laughs> Columbo's! Manja! <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Clay. Clean box? Yeah, it's, it's a good price. Uh, thanks so much, Clay. We, we really enjoy <laughs> having you here. Oh, here's Dan. Oh, the new papa. This there he is. Here in Los Angeles. Twins, actually. Oh, twins! I should have said congratulations twice. Or at all. <laughs> <laughs> and how are the little guys doing, Dan? Uh, uh, there's uh, two girls. Oh, well, maybe next time. Okay, well. <laughs> Dan, we, we just want to say thank you so much for Absolutely. whatever it is that a stage manager does on a show. So uh, thank you so much. Maybe this gift card can help you and your family have a wonderful night out. They're infants. We can't. Conveniently located in Eagle Rock, it's a family-friendly Italian restaurant. <laughs> it's Columbo's. Manja! <laughs> All right. And no, thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> and of course, this show would not be possible. Heck, it, it couldn't even happen without this next person. You. You are lovable fans and audience. All of you out there, without you watching this show at home, uh, we wouldn't have jobs. We're actually employed by you. So thank you 
guys so much for watching the show. And in fact, stay tuned, America, because we'll be right back. Hey!
when it was very exciting to go against you. I love it. These guys have been working on their disses all week for Employee Appreciation Day. Let's bring out Clayton Moore. Oh, oh there's Clayton back here. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clayton. Okay, now Clayton, just because I'm your boss, don't think I'm going to go easy on this one. Hold on to your tush, okay? Because I'm going to just... Clayton? You would drop DJ, the drop that beat. Who the beat? Uh, 
pretty straightforward sides. Okay. A commercial for Western Union. <laughs> All right, I'll try. <laughs> we never used to plan out our financial future. We were a winged couple. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Had a baby, and now we need a financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Try to imagine a, uh, a wife, kids. You have, you have a wife or kids? Uh, no. No, I, I don't. I wish I did. I really, genuinely wish I did. <laughs> oh, man. But same. Not yet. Not, uh, not ever yet. But, you know, you never know when, you know, something's going to come up. Uh, well, why don't you just uh, imagine what it might be like to have something like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That would uh, ground you. Into the material. Uh, okay, yeah, like, like imagine she's my wife and action. We never used to plan out our financial future. We were a winged couple. <laughs> uh, you, wow. <laughs> you, Alex? Yeah. Alex, you've made me the happiest man. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Jared, why don't you uh, pop on up here? Okay. All right. Harry Preston, hey, America. Hey, now for this one, uh, it's going to be very different, everybody. Uh, we're going to act like the two of you are brothers. Oh, you have any siblings, Barry? I do have some siblings. Uh, well, they're half siblings. We don't really talk that much, you know, different moms, different dads, e usual stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody that you're close to, like, Skip Halsey, my brother from another mother, and Kelly Lewis on the show. All right, great. Uh, so let's let's imagine that you are in a car with Skip. Okay. And the two of you are driving down the road in your brand new car. <laughs> this is a beautiful day today. Wow, this is a great car. I don't think I've ever been in it. Skip. Yeah, that's because it's brand new. <laughs> did you get another raise? Sure did. <laughs> but even if they didn't give me one, I still would have been able to buy this affordable but reliable beauty. Okay. okay. Well, I haven't, I've never gotten a raise, and I don't even have health insurance, so I don't know why they give me a raise. <laughs> That's not part of the You have everything, and I have nothing. You have a family, you have a wife, you have kids. You're the star of the show. <laughs> last weekend because <laughs> and there's no jury duty on Sunday. Skip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really scary. Oh. Okay. Well, Harry Preston scary again. Here we go with the whole Harry scary bit. <laughs> scary. Yeah. Well, then Harry won't be scary. Harry just go back to not being scary then, huh? <laughs> I'm Harry Preston from America. <laughs> not scary. <laughs> not scary. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Leave. I'm Perry Preston with Hey America Hey. Back to you, skipping me. Wow. So much fun with everybody. I had so much fun. You know, Perry Bear, I gotta say, it seems like you were really working some stuff out there. Yeah, and you know, I think it's safe to say everyone else had as much fun as I did too, so. Well, you know. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't think there'll be any more acting classes anytime soon. Absolutely not. Not my thing, but I do have a newfound appreciation for the craft. Yeah, absolutely. More to come after the break, so don't you go anywhere, America. Hey! And <laughs> cut! Yeah. <laughs> Mark, yeah. did you get your ear pierced? 
ingesting the food. So you taste it, but you don't swallow. Go ahead and give it a taste. So, a bit. so you're saying we just eat this and then we spit it right back out? Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. Like a fine oh. wine. That's the prime idea behind NSN. Well, diet. this, this looks, you know, we could actually use a little bit of help actually, over Bert, here. Bert, 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 would you mind coming in? Bert, can you come over here? Yeah. Uh, we need it, we need it for this. Do you have a stool I can set this No, we'll just give it to Bert. Bert can okay. just hold this for us. Okay, all right, here we go. No, that is pretty mm, yummy. This is a really good food. Yes, yeah. yes, and make sure you spit it out, guys. No. Spit it out kind of fast because we don't want the calories. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. I love Carson Daly. I love the calories. <laughs> if you guys let it sit too long, sometimes calories can kind of slip down the throat accidentally. Now this has almost, it almost has a fresh taste to it. Almost, yeah. It's almost fresh. It's like a couple of days old. I'm really shovel it in. Like I said. Fantastic. It's very good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Of course. You guys are and, and for those of you at home who are not on the NSNS diet, if you're interested in making this to try at home, it, it may feel heavy, oh. but it's actually much lighter. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, yeah. a light, it's a light olive oil, so it's lighter than a typical Ooh, where is that? That's oh. really, really light. Oh, that's oh. fantastic. I gotta say, that's really good. Burr, burr. here interested burr. in trying some paella? Oh, no, paella. Oh. Paella is Spanish, paella. right? Is that a Spanish dish? That is correct. Oh, that looks yeah, nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So paella is a Spanish delicacy. Hey, lost him It's very difficult to make. And in Spain, they eat it with their hands, right? That's right. What's, yeah. what's his name again? A Gary. Great. Good job, Gary. Yes, it's great. Mm. Now, is that is good. Yeah, you don't need to use forks for this one. Mm. It's difficult for people in that culture to sometimes not use forks. Mm. Right. But you do want to spit it out heavily. Absolutely. And this is one of Al Roker's favorite oh, yeah. morning treats that I used to make for him before I was laid off. And then... <laughs> You guys interested? Yeah, no, well, I'll get some more of this. I mean, honestly, this is the best paella I've ever not eaten. When you're not eating it, it's important. If you're on the NSNS diet, you feel free to shovel in as much as you like, because it's again, it's not going to add calories. And yeah, even if it were, yeah. this is uh, this is a low sodium chicken broth mm. that this is cooked with, so it's oh, not 
It's even oh. if you're eating it, it's gonna be a lot lighter than a traditional paella. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. I gotta tell you. Oh. Can I ask who's interested? If we have time, oh, please, please. if we have time, I want to see if you guys are interested in trying something Irish. Oh, I I love Irish food, and Excellent. yes, we do have time. I hope it's the food and not the people. Of oh, course. He's just joking about the little Irish bird here. We're giving him a okay, hard so time. Okay, so because Saint Patty's Day is coming up. There we go. Why? Yes, I want you guys to try something that's Irish that won't Ooh. add too much around your waist. Well, there we go, bro. Oh, that's not soup, is it? It's well, it's a non-cream-based potato soup. Yes. <laughs> now this one. That's really good. That's really good. That's the best non-soup I've ever had. Yeah. Hey, Bert. Now let's just get over here. So I used to make this. Actually, there's, there's not enough for Bert. Yeah, Bert, you can't have any. So by cutting out the calories of the cream, there's no, no caloric intake in there. Well, yeah. Really so smart. by cutting out the cream, you get a marginal decrease in calories. But by not swallowing and spitting it out fast, you cut your calories completely out. So this is the diet that Forrest Whitaker was on. Oh, you know. We gotta give a big round of applause for Antonio for everybody. Buy the book. Buy the book. All calorie food. That's all the time we have. Antonio, I want to thank you and thanks all of our guests today. You know, guys, join us tomorrow. We'll all be milking cows with Whitney Cummings and maybe falling in love. Same time, same hot Hollywood news gossip and more. We'll see you tomorrow, America. Hey!